Welcome back to the shop uh, for part three of the water tank barbecue build. Uh, today, uh, we're really hoping to finish it up. Uh, we've only got a short list of things to do. Uh, we got the legs, we got the charcoal grill rack for the inside, we've got the handle, and we've got a support for the chimney that we're going to build. And that should really about finish up this build. Uh, and hopefully by the end of the day, we're going to be able to put some charcoal in it, fired it up, and uh, and see what she does. So, Mike just got here. We're going to unload a couple more things and get to making some sparks. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to be working on today is we're actually going to be working on the stand. Um, so what I've got is I've got some 2-inch square tubing, 8-inch wall. Uh, now, to fit the curvature of the barbecue here, I've actually already made up some stencils uh, with some stencil maker material from like Office Depot or Craft Store or whatever. So I've already got those and I've got them lined up. If you can see that mark right there, boom, 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 there. That's what we're going to be cutting out and then we're going to be cutting out this side. On the back side, the full height piece, we're actually going to notch a little bit so that the bolts will thread into the barbecue and slot down on this guy. Uh, so let's make some sparks, eh? <laughs> Shit. That looks fucking awesome. Thank you. 
So Mike's leaving. Um, we've got the legs are done and bolted on. I've got the braces at the bottom. I've got to finish uh, welding up and all that stuff. But I started getting the charcoal grate installed. All right, so here's the charcoal grill rack. Um, it's just the same expanded metal we use for the grill, but it's a little bit longer, a little bit narrower, so we're going to end up getting it down in here. But first, I'm going to put these angle pieces on, just like I got here, to keep the charcoal from falling off either side and to give it a little bit more rigidity uh, when it's down in here and hot and it's wanting to sag a little bit. This will stop it from sagging. All right, so the last thing that I'm going to do today, uh, I was going to do the chimney support strap. I'm really not feeling that, and I don't have the strap for it. So the last thing that we're going to do today is we're actually going to twist the handle. Here is our twisted rebar handle. Uh, I made it 30 inches long, so I've got a little bit of room to mess up on either end. I'm going to cut uh, a little bit, like there's where I had to smash it into the hardy to keep it in place. But realistically, the whole thing looks just freaking awesome. So we're going to let this anneal a little bit. Um, I might heat it up again and let it uh, let it cool off on its own. Um, but as soon as we're done with that, it's we're gonna make the standoffs for it and get it attached to the barbecue. All right, so we've got the handle all done right here. I just gotta get the uh, pieces for the standoffs before we can bolt it up. So what I'm gonna start on 
or have been starting on is the shelf for the front right here and so I've got this one inch angle iron <coughs> fabric cobbled together so that we're going to make a, a shelf out of it. I've actually taken the remnants of the angles from the legs. This is the pieces that we cut off. Now we're going to use these to bolt up right here to the legs. Something kind of like that on the shelf. So the next thing i got to do is I've got this sheet of angle over here. We're going to cut out the appropriate size for this guy, weld it in, get these uh, drilled out for the holes, for the mounting holes, and then uh, we're going to get this all slapped together. Okay, so I just ran to Home Depot, and by ran I mean freaking ran. So I got a three-quarter inch or no half-inch uh, black pipe uh, foot of it, and I got five sixteenths barrel nuts. Uh, these are about one inch long because um, I got five sixteenths bolts for the lid to uh, the bolts to attach it. So these are going to be right on. Son of a gun. Well. Now it's in there. So those are going to go in there. I'm going to cut the threads off. I'm going to cut inch and a half, maybe two inches, uh, two sections for each side of the handle, put an angle in them, weld them together. Uh, let's get back to making some sparks, eh? Alright, we got those made up, we got this measured up somewhere.
right, there it is. I'm going to finish this up, load it up, take it over to Mike so the next time you guys see it is going to be right here at the very end. I only got like three and a half minutes of recording left, <clears throat> so I might do it on my phone. Um, but the next time you see it, it's going to be over at Mike's. pieces. We got the bottling equipment back in there. I'll get into a video on that later. We got the bottling equipment. Alright. It's time to unload this shit. So there it is. First fire in the barbecue. It's a little bit dark out here. Thankfully my phone's got a flashlight on it. Fantastic. Glorious. <laughs> 